Salisbury family. Thank you for joining us today for the hymn sing. For those of you that are not a regular part of the Allsbury family, you are today. You are adopted to hang out with us, to sing hymns of timeless truth together. I am thrilled uh, to get to do this. This was really a creative idea from Jerry Bond and Sherry Walker and myself as we th talked about how do we connect with some folks that are really feeling the burden of the isolation right now in the season we're in in our country. And so uh, I hope that uh, this is uplifting to your spirit as we sing the truth of God, the hope of Him. Uh, we're going to start right there today. Uh, what a friend we have in Jesus. This is a song about prayer, about going to Him with our burdens, with our griefs. And so I, uh, I want to begin there. I'll have a couple of guests that join me uh, here in a little while. And I know that you guys will appreciate having them here. There'll be some folks that you, uh, that you know, I'm sure. Uh, so if you have a hymnal with you, you can find What a Friend We Have in Jesus, or the words will be on the screen. Let's get started right now. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. joining us. I'll hand it off to a good friend of mine.
That you enjoy listening to and singing with hymns. Um, I have a long history in my life with hymns, and that was an all time favorite of mine, but also of my mom's. But one of my most played hymns that I have um, started when I was probably about 10 years old, and I took piano lessons from my grandmother, and she decided it was time I learned how to play hymns. So the very first hymn that I learned to play and learned to love. Um, is the solid rock. Just as a way of encouraging the, the beloved um, in our faith and worship. So um, spur of the moment, Kim's agreed to come and sing harmony with me on this great hymn, Revive Us Again. If you know it, sing along with us. We praise thee, O God, for the Son of the
my actual favorite hymn um, and it is called We're Marching to Zion and I know there are different ways of doing it but we're just going to do a traditional tempo and all of that. Um, I love this song because it speaks to the body of Christ being one that we are individually saved but we are also saved um, as a people for the Lord and we are marching together toward our eternal home which is Zion and um, so because he has saved us and redeemed us there ought to be praise upon our lips so it goes like this come we So as we go to the next song that we're going to sing, the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness, um, it might be my all-time favorite, although I have a really hard time picking out maybe about 10 favorites, but there's just something about the words of these songs that just speak to my heart about God's faithfulness, always, no matter what we are going through. So as we sing this, I pray that you are touched by God's faithfulness to you and his love that is ever abounding to you.
to sing, uh, Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross, just two verses. So if you know it, sing along with us as we celebrate the wonderful gift and the sacrifice that was made when Christ died on the cross for the sins of the world. And let's sing this together. Jesus, keep
Alright everybody, here we are to do a little gospel uh, rendition of an old gospel song. If you know the third part, sing it. I'll fly away. Here we go. Some glad morning when the slap is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. God sent His Son They called Him Jesus He came to love Heal and forgive He bled
I'll find life's No war with pain And then as death 